Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Android Auto not showing on phone screen. Before we start, hurry up and check out all your software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you fix this issue here. So fixing this issue is actually fairly simple here. So one of the first thing they want to do here is you want to make sure that you have or you're using the latest version or the updated version of your Android device, which in this case, go ahead and open up settings here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to the very top here. You want to go to about phone. Now, if you see any updates on your device, on your Android device, so this, this will actually depend on your manufacturer or the um, uh, company that actually uh, published this specific phone. Well, in this case, make sure that you have or you're using the latest version. Now, if you see any updates, go ahead and install that and wait for it to complete. Now, once it's actually completed, what we need to do next is we need to actually access, or we need to access the actual app itself. Because sometimes the app, or in this case, Android Auto, can be or sometimes will be turned off. So, in this case, you want to scroll down a bit here and you want to look for apps. Now, in here, what we need to do is we need to go to Manage Apps. And I would suggest you try doing this. So go and click on the tree dot icon at the top right here. And you want to actually choose the option that says show all apps. Because sometimes Android Auto will uh, might not be able to be shown here. So in this case, go and click on show all apps here. And you just need to go to search apps here and just type in Android Auto. From here, let's go ahead and open it up. Now from here, make sure that's actually enabled. So go and click on enable at the very bottom right here. And you want to click on clear data at the bottom right. And from here, click on clear all data and click on OK. Now, once you've done that, that will actually reset most of the data that you have right now on Android Auto. But in this case, you could still go ahead and uh, basically uh, do still still use it, like for connecting a few things here. But once you've done that, you can go ahead and open up your app drawer here and you want to search for um, Android Auto. So typically, it's going to be in the A section. But if you do not see it, then in this case, you need to scroll down a bit here and look for it. So in this case, let's just we'll go ahead and search for it. So in some cases, if that doesn't actually work, what you could other uh, do here as well is to basically uninstall Android Auto and reinstall it again. Because sometimes, by for example, if you have a fairly new phone, sometimes the app itself might not appear in here. So in this case, go ahead and open up Google Play Store here, look for Android Auto. Now from here, once you've actually seen it, you could go ahead and click on it, click on uninstall, click on uninstall, and from here, just click on update. Now, once it's actually fully updated, you could go ahead and start searching it up it again on your phone. So, yeah. So, if you want to change a few settings on your Android Auto, what you need to do is you need to actually access your settings. Because sometimes the actual app itself might not, or in this case, will not be able to show a specific icon on your screen. So, some of the settings, or if you want to update your settings, will be available on the settings section. So, in this case, just up and up settings here. Just type in on Android Auto at the very top here, and from here you should be able to see different settings about it. So let's go and open it up, and as you can see, you now have the option to connect a car and even start Android Auto while locked here. So there's a few settings that you can change here. Now, by the way, Android Auto would actually automatically boot up once you actually connect your uh, device into your car, so you won't have to worry about it. But in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.